I think the retirement age has to go up with regards to Social Security. Listen, when we started that program, we had 15 workers for every one beneficiary. Today, we have three. In about 10 years, there's going to be two workers for every one beneficiary. So the retirement age must go up. When we started Social Security, the average life expectancy was 67. My grandmother just turned 95. So we can't ha keep the same program in place thinking that the resources are going to be there for our retirees and for our seniors. We have to have major reform with respect to Social Security. The second thing we must do is, is implement a private account system to what they did in the country of Chile. Under the Chilean model, they actually had a hybrid system. They still had the public system, which is equivalent to our Social Security program, but then they went to a private account model as well. And they gave the citizens of Chile a choice. After 10 years, 93% of the citizens in Chile went to the private system. Today, they have more in their retirement accounts than we have in ours, and they paid in at a lower rate. The truth is we don't have anything in our retirement accounts. That money was all taken by the treasury. And so really current workers are paying current social security benefits. So those are really the two reforms that have to happen. We have to raise the retirement age for people under the age of 55. The second thing we have to do is go to a private account system. Now, the real elephant in the room is Medicare. Listen, the same rules apply with respect to our retirement age. We have to raise that with in Medicare. But we also have to do a couple of extra things. Number one, we have to have real health care reform in general. We have to go to a patient-centered approach because that is what will lower the cost of care in America, especially for our seniors. You know, the real problem with health care is that the federal government spends half of every health care dollar. So if we do not reform Medicare and Medicaid, we're going to have huge problems in health care spending going forward. I think what Paul Ryan and Ron Wyden proposed, going to a premium support system with Medicare is a good first step in that with that regard. But those programs need major reform and that's what's gonna be necessary going forward.